Hello everybody, um, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. For today's message I'm going to be channeling both the masculine and the feminine together. Your one beingness together, let's start how we mean to go on. And if you would like to have a personal reading or twin flame coaching please check the description box below. And we can jump straight in with the first card which is Material World. Now you're meant to be together in the material world, in the physical world. And the purpose of that is connection and self-expression. The purpose for everything is love. You were created with the desire for your twin flame as another way of connecting. That's to be explored and expressed. Connect to the divine and to yourself. I take a deep breath and surrender to the present moment. I am calm, still, I'm content in the now. Let love transform your desire, all of you, every, and everything about you. Choose to let any resistance go. Surrender to life itself. This is the essential attitude for harmonious twin flame union, calling in divine love. There's no room for ego when you let the divine in. You get who you really are. You let go of who you were really not. And you get to be with your twin flame, your perfect, eternal partner who you are meant to be with. Letting love transform you gives you everything you desire. It's a theme carrying over from yesterday's reading. Don't be afraid of it. Just choose to receive this love. Oh, and we have another very good all-round card here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is, oh, with this deck it says, Ultimate Achievement. So it's good in terms of material abundance and it's good in love and life and food and pets and everything. It's real. Moving towards stability and having it all. Figuring it out, how to get there, positive plan, expelling fears, blinkers on to focus, security, a solid foundation, attainment, essential groundwork to realise goals, strengthening, building an empire, working hard towards the future, all good times, total happiness, good all round fortune. The vision and legacy you're creating, where you're, where you're calling home. The values you're basing your life on. Success, commitment. You'll get your abundance. Your person will get full from you. Giving love and receiving love. Everything will turn out well. Even if you're not in the best place right now, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're making the right choices. You must have faith in yourself, even if there's hurdles to overcome. You need to work through current issues and realise that even through tough times, you're allowing for the completion of a cycle and for a new one to begin. Get ready for the obstacles and the celebrations ahead. You're building your future now. It's up to you how it turns out. Blessings of innocence and purity. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will... See God. You're one with your twin flame always. He or she mirrors your thoughts and beliefs that are out of alignment with the divine. You can heal them right in front of them when they try to bring thoughts of separation into the picture. You can heal it instantly. As we heal, the collective does too. You are two people as one. An individual who's part of a twin flame union. Your beingness is not separate from their beingness. There's no difference. You exist as an extension of that one being of your twin flame. That you two together make up vibrations. And they're looking like pretty good vibrations. Choose to see the truth of the illusion. Continue following through at every turn. 
It's a new spiritual muscle, which is strengthened by situations that create challenge so you can grow in strength and know for sure you're not break, backing down. You're their spouse already. The divine is already with you there. Develop that trust in yourself. My divine partner is my perfect mirror. We reflect the light and dark within each of us for powerful healing and transformation. I am grateful for our divine love relationship anchored in true, pure, unconditional, eternal love. You're claiming true love and you're freeing each other to your perfect life of love. Choose to have it all. Be power, feel powerful when you're met with your challenges. You become a diamond. You don't crush under the weight of circumstances. You don't choose fear. You're strong, so choose love. Choose what the divine has given you. That's for you. <laughs> That's your twin flame for you and you for them. They can't deny the truth that they're in love with you. They can't even fully reject it because they know it and you know it. And you've made that core choice for harmonious twin flame union. The magician. We have manifestation tools. The magician is the manifester. Things are being brought into material reality. And it feels really, really good. Tangible results, expanding and accelerating, accomplishment, perhaps in life purpose, having all the tools to make it happen. Not mundane, something really big. Dreams coming true, a new start. You can create anything you want. You've never been wrong. You're a powerful creator here. Don't forget that. This is destined, it's written in the sky, it's true love, you're being guided together. You have everything you need. Whatever you do, you're super powerful, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. You manifested each other, you called each other in, you're feeling the tug, you can have this. You'll get what you want in a relationship, the answer is yes. The spark ignites, they feel the urge to return to you. They get you, they know who you are and what makes you tick. You'll have plenty to talk about. You'll make each other laugh and you'll have common interests. They're your ideal lover who compliments you. You're both going to be becoming who you truly are with each other. You'll be kept on your toes to make something of yourself, someone you can be proud of. You must love yourself to keep this relationship harmonious. All very good. Retreat from the outside world. The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. Okay, so you've made the choice. And you'll be given your next step. You'll be presented with a spiritual muscle. Because any deeply ingrained energetic patterns will keep... Coming up and you'll keep surrendering more and more and claiming more of yourself and surrender to the divine. Recognition. Depending on whether you're a masculine or a feminine, the opposite energy that you feel inside is who your twin flame is. You both be feeling more comfortable in yourselves and more attracted to each other deepening in your attraction as your person deepens in their masculinity or femininity. To be truly seen, you have to validate yourself. Go to any places in consciousness that are feeling oppressed and bring love to those places. Honour yourself. In no way do you ever sacrifice any part of who you are. You celebrate who you are. That's what your person likes about you. I step up and take the, take the initiative with my divine partner. I take the lead in love. So it's a new adventure to keep the passion and romance alive. 
It's not about controlling to find someone who loves you next to you. Uh, or to find people so, to, that will say that they're a good match for you. It's not about who has the hottest uh, partner, the best connected partner. Or the one who's the best kind of fit. It's about finding the divine. The divine's first gift to you. It's your... It's, your, it's yourself, your compliment, your twin flame, your perfect partner, your greatest teacher, your greatest student, your ultimate lover. And you get there by surrendering to love. You see them coming close. So, so when you do that, surrender deeper. If you try to control, it doesn't work. It's okay. To feel afraid, but it's not okay to act on the fear and believe it's real. Love will wait for you. Be unwilling to release that focus on love. Focus on love itself. Everything will fall into place. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.